Yo, what's going on, 67? Let us go today. We're here doing a rank 21. Um, the intro's a little bit slow because I did a different intro, but it was way too cringe, so I deleted it. Uh, <laughs> but honestly, it's just a day in life, you know? Just a day in life. You're a YouTuber, you do cringe intros. That's just, you know, you kind of adopt. It's a, it's a trait of your craft. I'm not in the jungle. Don't buy that item. Dude, I can't tell you how many times... Oh my god, please. I default... Just like, generically now. I just default to doing... The weirdest thing. Like, just straight up. The weirdest thing. And I always buy Assassin's Blessing and like... Tier 1 Crusher or something. <laughs> when I'm playing... Duel. And it's, it's just because I've played so much Conquest. I actually have like, triple the amount of Conquest games than I do... Uh, dual games this season and last season and the season before that in fact actually 60% of my dual games was all in season 3 I played so much duel in season 3 I know right you might not believe me but it's it's actually the truth all right, I'm double buffing because I have really good clear or like buff clear you might steal No steal, no steal. He's double buffing. I'm not even gonna go over there. I probably could steal it, to be honest with you. But I'm not gonna, because I can just push this. Ooh, my man is... He's big boy right now. Because I could just push this and then get his back camps for free, you know? That's why you don't double buff when your opponent has better buff clear than you. Let's see what he goes for. Sides? Okay. If he goes for those sides, no worries. I just go for my sides. And I am actually up in XP, so I'll take it. I'll take it. You know, if there's one thing chess has taught me, and it's not that I'm good at chess, <laughs> but it's the value of trading. No! He lived, bro. I really thought that last auto from my alt was gonna kill. I waited out his shell and I was like, easiest game of my life. And then he was running at me like, easiest game of my life. The sad thing is I literally could have just ran. If I, if I thought that it wasn't gonna kill, I would have just ran. But I genuinely thought it was gonna kill. My bad. This man turns into the guy. Hopefully I clear this in time. Coming behind me? No, you're coming that way. Are you the guy? I can't tell if he's the guy right now. He's not the guy right now. He will turn into the guy soon. He wants to jump. Ow, that hit me. Wait, that did a lot of damage. Holy bejesus. Holy bejabers. We oh, got attack speed boots. That's weird. He missed. I didn't. Yeah, attack speed boots is a weird pickup there. Not because it's bad, by the way, because I actually don't think it's bad, but it's because when you're ahead, it just makes sense to me to go power boots so that when you turn into the guy, you just completely frag. And you don't even need to turn into the guy to frag if you're that far ahead. Hey! Oh god, get me out. I'm cool with that. Oh lord. I'm okay with this. I don't care. I'm cool with this. Well, maybe I'm less cool with it now. Give me mana! Mana me! Mana me! Mana me! Mana me! Mana me! Right here. So close, dude. I'm scared. I will add this to my collection. 
<clears throat> Damn, if I just had the mana. If I just had the mana, this man would be so dead. He also, like, he had to have at 1 HP, man. In order to live when my 1 hitting him, and I'm maxing my 1, too. It's not like I'm not maxing it. I'm maxing my 1 at him for 160. Close. Get me out of here. Itch of all next item? Whoa. Now that's fancy. I do not fear them, but they should fear me. Oh, he's doing mid camps over there. I'm gonna I'm gonna commit. Ult away if I have to. As always. Okay with this. I'm getting a call that is scam likely. Does he kill me here? No. No, he does not. I mean, I'm honestly, like, I'm all about this, dude. He has a speed buff on, which is how I knew that his speed buff was not up. Um... Oh god, he is ult again. Oh god, he turns into the guy also. Damn. I did not think he would be able to kill there. Uh, rest in peace, my blue dude. Does he go speed buff too? I don't know where he is. No, he's going his blue. Damn, man. Honestly, though, like... The early game is so favored for him, right? Cause he just like can out trade anybody. I need Soul Leader. Once I get Soul Leader, I should win. I guess he's going Berserker Shield, if I had to guess. Alright, some decent damage. This up? This way. Nope. I, know I didn't expect it to be I though. The speed buff is coming up. And I could probably invade it, but I'm just gonna commit to red. And you know, even though I'm down in kills, by the way, and I'm only like 300 gold down, and I'm not down in levels, so... All of the trades I've been making, while yes, I have been dying, I've also been trading efficiently for my, for my XP. And his blue actually is up again. I would love to steal it from him. That was good damage. That was really good damage. I do wonder if he's backing right now. If he is, I'm a, I'm a little nervous. He didn't back. Perfect. I missed. Fuck. Damn. He backed for thorns. He actually got thorns. I don't know what to get here. Did Thorns do a lot to me? I think it did. It doesn't even show up here, so it actually it did 240. I mean that's not that much to be honest. Um I really want a Soul Eater, like I said. I also think I really want Aegis. 
think he might have jumped to blue. No, he's not doing it. Your middle tower is under attack. I really think Aegis is going to be a good pickup here for me. When he transforms into the guy, I can just try to live. My blue should be up. Perfect. I don't want it. Um, I just want to take it. I'm going to back and get Soul Eater before I do my speed buff so that I can get some extra stacks on it for free. Another item for me to inhabit. Um... Okay, unfortunately, I actually have to rush to my tower because he could be pushing it. Probably doing Bull Demon, to be honest. I don't think I could stop him. I don't hear him anywhere. He's either doing Bull Demon or went back for his speed. Because his speed buff and my red buff are... Well, I, I guess the red buff. It's not mine, technically. They're on the same timer, so... Can I win a fight? Probably not. Yeah, he just dives, dude. There's nothing I can do about it. Mm. I win the fight in this form, though, right? But he can ult. That's what I'm scared about. His ult is the problem. Damn, my passive just came up and I don't even have an ability. Um. I think I have to give that to him to be honest with you. He actually did transform. I think that secures him tower. Maybe. Your middle tower is under attack. Come on. Give me there. 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 Nice. Huge kill, dude. That kill is huge. Why is that kill huge? Because it also pushes his tower down. Because he's dead for so long. And gives me red buff. Which means I have evened out the game. Not to mention he was on a killing spree, so I got a lot of gold and XP for that. Huge fucking kill, dude. Huge kill. Gives me the red buff. And now I go Breastplate, because I have no cooldown yet, and I would love some. Not to mention the defense is nice. Um, he probably went straight to Bull Demon. If it were me, that would be the play I would make. And I'm pretty sure he knows I can't stop him, because he has Thorns up right now, so I would just die if I did that. Except he didn't. I'm actually higher level than him now. Probably jump to Wall here. Ult me. Predictable. Probably goes for Bull Demon. I hear him, yeah. I'm chilling. I have finished Soul Eater, so I just wait for the minion wave to come up and I hit it and we're completely fine. Perfect. And yeah, when he is at this amount of uh, rage, that's when I fight. That's when he's got no chance. How much rage do you have? See, that's a that's a scarier amount of rage. Cause he could he could easily transform. I have to fight him in his minion wave, so that he doesn't get all the uh, extra rage off of using abilities on my wave. And he knows that, so he's backing up, and then he's gonna clear my wave. And then it'll be um, a benefit for him to fight. So if we run this way. Maybe his speed buff is up. Not unlucky. Okay, he actually just backed. Surprised it to me, to be honest. Not gonna let me back here. Fine. 
Really don't do much damage. He got Beat Stick. Beat Stick is a good play. I will probably also get a Beat Stick. It sucks I don't have Thorns, to be completely honest. Because it means he kind of wins the fights um, every time he has Thorns up. So I, I, can't, I have to bait his Thorns and then run the fuck away. <laughs> That's how I have to play this. Result. We do not want to be close to him when that happens. Alright, perfect. Let's just all down. This guy form should be down by now. I assume he backed because it wouldn't make any sense if he stayed. Unless he goes straight to Bull Demon, which could honestly have been the play. He saw me run away. Um, I need penetration right now. I need percent pen. My best bet, honestly, stone cutting sword. Is it? It's not percent pen, but it's really good. Maybe I can go stone cutting, but then maybe toxic blade after stop that healing because I actually want more attack speed I think a lot of my damage is gonna be coming from auto attacks So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go stone cutting and then I'll go toxic blade after He's going stone cutting too. He is itch of all uh, Oh, you know what could actually be good is a frostbound here a frostbound could be nice here you're going to be seeing a lot more Frostbound, by the way, when Season 8 drops. He wants me to hit him, so I will. He wants me to hit him because he's so close to transforming. This is a good fight for him, so. I want to just get his transform and then run away. If I can, maybe his thorns as well. See, normally I would go straight Bull Demon here, but he's so close to transforming that he probably transforms on Wave and runs to Bull Demon. Fine by me. This is absolutely fine by me. reason is because he's backing you probably assumed i backed because i ulted away so right now would be a great time to sneak bull demon because i'm pele i do it pretty quick not to mention the stone cutting sword does not hurt yeah that's a perfect time to sneak bull demon for me and you know sometimes like you might be like sam why is that a good play like why you all he did was transform. He didn't even alt. Well, he did alt, but his alt is on a really short cooldown as as Kukulin. So you might be like, Sam, what the hell? Why is that a good trade? It seems like a terrible trade. Well, because him doing that opens up the opportunity for Boldy, you know? And I guess only an experienced player would see it, but it's always the option. And now, it's... Now is when it gets hard, because he probably wants to fight... Okay. So now that his fight is down. Uh, I don't like this. Oh, he had alt back up. Fuck. See, I, th I underestimated the amount of time. Uh, well, first off, I didn't have Toxic Blade, which would just be huge. 
because the amount of regen he gets in in his big form is like 100 hp5 basically um but i underestimated the amount of time he was in his like his his guy form and because i underestimated the amount of time it gave him a second rotation of abilities to use on me. If he didn't have that second rotation of abilities, that fight would not have even been close. And that really sucks, because I was like, literally one second off from a completely winning fight. But, as it is, Smite is not black and white, so... There's counterplay to everything, boys. Probably tries to push me right now. Surprised, he uses too because he turns into the guy anyways or he jumps away that's fine he doesn't have thorns actually not a completely terrible matchup right now for me very nice very nice. And that's the Surrender Vote because he knows I take Phoenix there. Damn, that was a good game, man. And he's got a Diamond Border on Kukulin for a reason. Like, he played really well. He was good at... He was really good at managing his Rage Bar and everything like that. So, I mean, goddamn. Well played. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. On to the next one. Oh. Yo, what's going on, boys? Game 2. I'm playing Hoi I don't really like playing Hoi anymore. I used to love it. Uh, I used to have a ton of fun doing it, but uh, I, I don't play him anymore because normally I just like to ban him. You know, like he's just too RNG heavy. Where you bounce off random walls and get a kill, and it's like, ah, man, that's cool, but like I really didn't mean to do that at all. So, yeah, what's the point? I'm also going to build for late game, which might be a mistake because I can probably win in the early game, but I'm going to build for late game just because. Um, but anyways, like I was saying, he's just so RNG heavy, it scares me. And that's why I ban him. Cause I, not because I don't really like playing him. Because, you know, he's alright. I don't I don't mind playing him. He, he's definitely not my go-to, but I'm like, whatever. I'll play him if I have to. Um, but because... Fighting Hoyis, they just get RNG triple bounces and you fucking die. And it's like the worst feeling in the world. Just being murdered for no reason. They're like, bro. There's no way you meant to do that. <laughs> and I guarantee there's going to be some kills this game where I'm like, well, didn't mean to do that, but I'll take it. That's just how it is, man. It's just how it is. Well, he went speed buff. He's going to run out of mana. Hit me. Fight me. Fight me. Like, look. Look at this. See? 120 damage. I didn't know that was going to hit. I just threw it. I just threw it. That's not fair. That's not balanced. That's not right. But I did it. And it worked. <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? All right, we are completely dominating right now, though. He's under tower. We're pretty much full HP. I'm jumping for this blue B. I don't know where he is, by the way. I, like... I kind of figured he was going to invade me or something, but he just kind of ran away. Oh, he's back. The guy who voiced the Witcher voiced his skin, by the way, and it's super lit. The The guy who voiced the Witcher in the game is not Henry Cavill. Boom! Boom, 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 boom! Whatever. Um, oh, he's tanky. My man's a tank at Damon. You probably can't kill me, to be honest. With that much tank and no power, he probably can't kill me. Hit him with it. I missed. I missed. 
Darn it. Thanks, big guy. See you later. If I didn't miss, he was dead, but I missed. Honestly, like, it's still not good for him. Like, imagine winning that fight that hard and still it not being a good fight for you. That would feel really bad. That's, like, demoralizingly bad, you know? You, f you, you feel bad in your soul. You're like, wow. He missed alt combo and still won the fight? You know, that's, like, that's the worst. It really is the worst. That being said... I'm just stacking. You got some boots. Yeah, he, he's really, like, not scary at all right now, to be honest with you. He just doesn't do enough damage to, like, warrant fear. So, until he warrants fear, I'm gonna stand my ground and auto-attack the shit out of him. And also, ward this and go to red buff. I have a little bit of Devo stacks. It's not like I'm healing a lot, you know? But I, I'm... I'm maintaining my HP while doing red, which is all you can really ask for. Is that a triple? Oh no, it went away. Um... I could go get finished boots here. He's probably got his finished boots. Now I'm scared. He didn't even get finished boots. He doesn't have blink. I was just checking. Just getting some life steal. You know what I mean? Life stealing up. Just chilling, man. Just chilling. Okay. I mean, I don't think this is good for him, right? I'm just waiting for my boots, to be honest with you. Nice. Okay, cool. I'll take it. And then you know what else I'll do? Walk the wave and run away. Cool. Alright, so we got the red buff. He's gonna throw that thing. Annoying, but whatever. It doesn't bother me. Honestly, we win this fight. Yeah, I think we just win this fight right here. He's got no mana. I could triple bounce blue. Almost hit him. That's fine. Alright, I'm gonna back now. I honestly... And this might seem really dumb. I'm gonna skip out on boots right now. I'm gonna go Toxic Blade. The reason I'm rushing Toxic Blade so fast is because... His Warrior's Blessing heal. He's got Chalice, so he's always got a health pot popped. And he has his ult as a heal too. So I'm really just trying to cut back on as much healing as possible here. And so I really like the Toxic Blade pickup. Don't know where he is, and I also don't have my jump up, so I could very easily die here. Or at least, um, probably not die, but have to use my relic. I mean, me having Toxic Blade here, like I said, is just absolutely huge. Yeah, I mean, he probably, he probably expected me to go boots there. And when I went Toxic Blade, he was like, oh, fuck. 
smart move, dude. Smart move. Picking up the counterplay item, expecting a fight after a back like that. I'm proud of myself on that one. And now we go boots, because now I actually have time. Not to mention the, the kill there was nice. You know, the, the kill there bought me a lot more time. Uh, if he uses his two, is it his two or his three? I don't know. If he uses his turtle or mink form here, I can just ult him. He should be dead. Damn it, dude. I can win this game here. Not the game, but the fight for sure. I have Devos, so this is nice. His best bet, by the way, is to ult the air. Like, the move he should make right now is ulting the air. Me having Devos makes... Er, not Devos. Me having Devos and Toxic Blade combined makes me way too strong for him to ever fight. Oh, I missed. That's terrible. Oh, he doesn't have mink form, though. Or turtle. So actually, again, it's the king of the devos. We take tower. I miss, obviously. Perfect. And then we take the wave. Auto attack the blue buff, because we have devos. Alright, blue buff's gone. We just back. No worries. We grab our up. Ah! Sorry, that probably scared you. Blue buff spawned and it scared me. For whatever reason, I thought he the sound of blue buff spawning was him throwing the two over the wall. And I was like, I'm fucking dead. I'm dead. It's over. I'm dead. <laughs> oh god, thank goodness it wasn't though. Holy crap. Uh Horrific is actually really good here. Cause he's Erlang. Um, I mean, it just makes sense. Also really good here would be Thorns, but I think I don't want to rely on Thorns. I think I want to go Horrific and try to control the game with maybe um, an Ichabal and then a Frostbound combo. Annoying. That's mine. And obviously, that's really rude. Annoying again. Really rude again. The best thing here is that I can pressure so hard. Because I'm Hoi, and I have Devos, and he has no healing, so... My pressure on towers is so incredibly hard for him to maintain. So I could probably Horrific there and just... Um... I get tower here. I think minions walked in. Uh... Perfect. He popped thorns, but I popped horrific and shell, lowering my or lowering his attack speed and um, making sure that he couldn't get out of my ult. Do we win here? We don't win here, but I am gonna stay. I might die, but that's fine. I'm gonna stay because I want to do as much damage as I possibly can. He has no ult, so I'm not very scared of him. Him having no alt is like, I mean, dude, him having no no anti heal is literally losing him the game. All right, and that should be game. Got to get the kill before we end the game. GG, man. And yeah, that Toxic Blade Rush really won me the game. Getting that anti-heal online and really playing for that later in the game build with the Hunter's Blessing, it all kind of just comboed really well together. So, very well played. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed, and I'll see you in the third game. Peace.
Yo, what's up boys? Game 3. I decided to pick the Agni because, uh, you know, Warchi slapped my Cheikes with him, so why not try him? Why not try to get better at, at Agni? Originally, I tried to bait this guy into picking Hebo so I could play Fenrir because I haven't done a Fenrir game in a while, but he just banned Hebo last ban, so it's whatever. Not, not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. Not a big deal at all. What does he go? Does he go Mages? Or does he just go straight into Bancrofts? I believe he goes Mages. Into three HP pots and two mana pots. As well as against an Arnher. I would actually like Aegis, probably. Sorry, I'll quit the a the accent. Um, But yeah, I think I, I, I will go Aegis because I'll dash in and he'll just fucking ult me. <laughs> and I'll just get shredded to bits. So how about we don't do that and instead we just completely frag with Agni. Honestly, he could invade, right? And it would not be bad. If he invaded, he could actually just jump in and kill me right now. And then steal my buff. Thank frick that he did not, though. Okay, is it terrible if I dash wave? I mean, not anymore. He took so much damage there. But then he also autoed me twice and took oh, the rest of my HP, so maybe it is terrible. Oh, you got archers hitting you too. You got archers hitting you too, bud. Okay, nice. Also worth noting, Agni Dash is actually knocked up immune. Um, So even if he were to jump on me... And like got the jump damage, it still wouldn't work. So that's very nice. Alright. Doesn't bother me. He actually went health chalice. Wait. Didn't Warchi, when he played Agni, did he not just go Chronos Pendant first item? He never went Bancross. Am I wrong? I don't remember, to be honest. That game was like a week ago. But I think he, I think he went Chronos Pendant. But also, we weren't doing, we were doing full damage, so it's not exactly try hard. It's more just for fun. If I ulti jumps, maybe. No. If I ulti jump. If I ulti jump. No. You just take all the damage in the world. Okay. Why are you letting me do this to you? Just jump, bro. Okay. Oh, I like. Make it He's definitely in the better spot here. God, I'm so scared. Ow. Um. I don't know how long he has on his alt. That's the scary thing. Die! Ugh! Shit. I'm doing red buff. Can I do red buff? It is risky. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. Okay, I can do red buff. Nice. Let's back. Just get me out of here, dude. Just get me out. Help me, help me, 
Help me! Help me, please! But I'm going Bancroft now. I don't know if Bancroft is the right decision. Um, I kind of just wanted to go Breastplate, but... Also, I already started Bancroft, so I kind of have, like, buyer's remorse. Where I'm like, well, I already spent money on it. Might as well fucking do it. I just dashed into this pillar. It doesn't matter. I already have red buff, right? Like, there's... And I already did my blue. There's nothing over there, so we're good. Probably doing XP camps, to be honest. And I should be more focused on doing XP camps, but I'm not... Did he do these? Did not. He's got some defense online, though. I think he's doing his back camps over there. Yes, he is. I do wish that hit him. But, okay. Ooh, that one hit him, though. Bro, you have no mana. I suck! Is this up? Probably not, right? No, it's not. Uh, I can go get Bancrofts. I'll also probably just push this wave and then go get Bancrofts. Alright, and you know what? Fuck it, I'll get a Chalice. Why not? He has one, why not? I also just want Boots Genji's, like Boots Defense. No stacking item, no anything like that. So his damage is gonna be low. Low, 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 low. Low, la, 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 So I really shouldn't be scared, to be honest with you. Like 83 ain't shit. Okay, 100 is kind of, kind of something. Should be a kill here. Hmm, good shell. Good shell arena, dude. You know, honestly, that was not bad at all. I would do that 10 out of 10 times. I got his relic for my relic. And got a ton of damage on his tower. Maybe even taking the tower. Not quite, but close. We'll go breastplate now. And I'm not gonna get my second relic yet, just because I don't know what to get. And yeah, like I said, I mean, his damage is almost nothing. His damage just isn't scary. How much power does he have? Like 40? Yeah, literally 40. good poke, you know? Nothing new, nothing new, just some pokey poke. Dash to the wave, get some good clear going. Yeah, he just runs away. Is blue up? I don't think it is, but it, it seems like it kind of is. Just by the way that he ran that that direction. I don't, I don't know why. I have a feeling it's up. Weird. I don't know why I knew it was up. But, whatever. I'll take it. That's tower, by the way. Hell yeah. Grab tier 2 of this. Still not going to get my second relic, because I still don't know what I'm getting. He's going into double defense, directly after boots. I wish I could say I was surprised, but I am playing dual, so, you know, makes sense. Um, which means I need percent lifesteal. Staff of murder, maybe? I don't know. You do not scare me. 
Little turdy boy. You do not scare me. You do absolutely no damage. Neither do I if I miss everything, though. Like, he has ult. And I think that's what he's going for right now. It absolutely was what he's going for. Alright, we got a shell. Uh, archers are looking backwards, but running forwards? Why do you despise me as a human? Red buff is up. Thank you. <clears throat> Alright, we back. We get this. We got Bracer second relic. Honestly, dude. I'm just gonna go shell. I kinda wanted to get Sunder, but I'm just gonna go shell. I'm not gonna be crazy with it. Typhons would give me more lifesteal as well as 10% pen. Staff would give me 10% pen, and then Soul Reaver would give me 10%. That seems... Uh, well, Staff isn't very good. You don't go Staff on Agni. What the fuck am I talking about? Um, why did I just miss everything, and why am I still winning the fight? Please stop with this debauchery. Ah! Ah! Hold the wave! Juke! Juke! Stun! Hit! Miss everything! Ow! Get pinned against the wall! Don't be scared though! You're Agni! Dash in! Stun! Stun! Hit! Auto! Stun! Hit! Auto! Stun! Hit! Auto! Stun! Hit! Auto! Almost won the fight! Ouch. Hey, is this up again? Hey, what's up, dude? Mark time no see. Um, percent pen, percent pen. Obshard wouldn't be terrible. I think I'm just gonna go Typhons because I understand it. <laughs> um, he's gonna talk to Blair right now, that's not a big deal. I could go Divine, which is some, per uh, some, not percent, some flat pen, which would, would not be bad at all. I have max cooldown, so picking up blue buff just doesn't sound beneficial to me. What's up, gamer boy? Okay. He has no Toxic Blade yet, so... Okay. You know, I know you can dash and stun afterwards, but I feel like my... Can I just move this? Jump away, jump away... Um. Whatever. I guess we just do red and then get Typhons. Does he get Toxic Play with that back? I don't actually know. I don't know how much gold he has in hand. I haven't been calculating. A lot of times when I'm playing like a tryhard duel, I will calculate how much his items cost, how much money he has in, in the, um, like up here. How much money he has up here, how much his build costs, and what he's spent on potions. And a rough estimate on whether he can afford items or not, but I haven't been calculating that right now. But it looks like he can't afford it, so we're good. Which means this fight is just incredibly in our favor, like just ridiculous. If he will let us take this fight, we definitely take this fight. If he pushes this, we just kill him, I think. Nice. 
I didn't know how much that last Phoenix shot was going to hit me for. The reason I was juking back and forth was because I knew he still had his two up. I did not want to be caught with my pants down. As a mage, minions are going to do a lot of my Phoenix damage, so that's why I'm clearing minions instead of just auto and Phoenix. And that's Phoenix down. Speed up, maybe. Nice. We can take that away. Feels very good to take this away from him. Then just some power damage. Did get that Toxic Blade, so he is a little bit scary right now. Double defense with Toxic Blade is not like the best way to deal with an Agni, but it's not the worst. Oh, we just stunned him in the three, which is just massive fucking damage. Pushing him, pushing him back, pushing him back. Very much not scared of him. This feels really good right now. This feels dominant. We'll go Soul Reaver because 10% pen. Okay. Not to mention, he's probably pretty healthy with double defense. Yeah, I mean, 2200 HP is not something to scoff at. That is some good, some good tankiness. Um... What is that item? Itchaval? Probably Oboe. Probably Oboe. Oboe makes a lot more sense than Itchaval here because he needs help clearing. I don't know why I just picked a blue buff. That was stupid. If I dash in, do I die? Well, not if he jumps away. Do you like how I test things by actually doing them? You know, not just saying, do I dash in? Like, if I dash in, do I die? And then not dashing in. It's science, you know? You gotta figure out. Ask the question and then test the theory. I think I die if I dash in. Let's dash in and see if I die. You know, like, science, baby. <laughs> he does not scare me. Let's wave. I just do damage here, I think. That was a nice 2k damage burst. Dash back, miss everything. Makes sense. Probably die. Alright, we're good. Stun dash. He jumps away because he's way too low to fight this. Checking Phoenix timer. It's not up yet, so we keep this up. Keep up the aggro, 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 keep up the aggro. Stun him on the, the dash and he should be dead. If he's not dead, it's okay because we still have time to do quite a bit of damage to Phoenix here. Or by Phoenix, I mean tower, obviously. Um, he runs through, tries to stun me, actually hits the stun, which scares the shit out of me, but that's okay because I can do this. And um, he actually got his Typhons on me, or he got his um, Anti-Heal on me. I don't want to clear the minions because I want them to be here for... Perfect, perfect, perfect. We fight, we fight, we fight. We fight win the game. We fight, we win the game. Perfect. Can I get this? No, I have to wait. But I do have Typhons, and this is up again, so. I dashed in, because if he fought me, then he loses the game. If he jumps away, all he does is lose Phoenix. And a lot of times, people don't understand that losing Phoenix does not mean losing the game. And so, by dashing in, I'm, I force him to make a split decision between... Either losing the game or losing a Phoenix. And he fought me, and by him accepting my fight, accepting my invitation to fight, he lost the game. Nice. Well played, dude. That was nice. That was really nice. I felt good that game. I felt good that game. You know what? I felt so good. I'll do another one, even though we're already over the hour mark on my end. I haven't edited it yet, but who knows. Love you guys. See you in the next game. Boop. Yo, what's up? It's your boy, Izanami. Game four versus hell. Oh my god. This is going to be interesting. This is going to be... Carson? Isn't he a, a good player? Oh shit. Isn't he a pro player? Or am I just trolling? I might be trolling. But regardless, this is going to be a good ass video game, bro. Let's just start straight up honk. You double buff as Izanami? I actually don't know. I uh you, you definitely don't double buff as hell. And hell does outclear Izanami. 
Because Izanami has to stand in the wave to clear effectively. So I think we double buff. We actually outcleared the speed faster than he did blue. But, like I said, I don't want to stand in the wave and just get clobbered. So we do blue buff here. Alright, not bad, honestly. Not bad. You went Bracer? Yo, my curse honk is gonna frag this guy. I actually will invade this speed, by the way. Nice. Okay. This is gonna heal, run away. How that actually hit me. It's rough. Um I think we back. I think we back and we just play for her late, maybe? I wish he took the fight, by the way, but he didn't. Damn, he actually got it. Fortunate man. I actually don't care if he's trying to poke me here. Yeah. Him trying to poke me loses first blood. So that was a really big misplay on his part. He just takes too much damage, man. With no mana, no healing, like you have Bracer, sure. But it's not like I'm bursting you down. It's just the fact that I'm Izanami and my ult does 250 base damage, you know? It, it, it did 200 damage. Hell's base health at like, at level 5 is like a thousand, maybe, not even. They're like 700. Okay, though, we're stacking these devos now. You love to see it. I'm stem. I'm I'm leveling my stem, by the way, because it's definitely the play. You don't notice all that damage. Pretty nuts. He's waiting out Ankh. BD. He's healing again. Um, his speed buff is coming up really soon. I'm gonna let him poke me out here because I don't care. Um, and then I'm gonna go get his speed because he has no mana. I tried to ult him so he was silenced. I didn't think his one would come up that quick. But I guess he does have that and blue buff, 20% CDR. Uh, annoying. I really wanted that uh little lead there. He actually might kill here. He probably could kill here. Damn. I really didn't know if his if he had enough mana for his three. I was thinking he probably didn't, 
Um, clearly I was wrong. Clearly I was wrong. This match is gonna be really hard. Hell is one of those characters that just like... Doesn't get picked often, but if it gets picked against you, you just have to accept the feed. It's really terrible. Like, it's so... It's so, 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 so difficult to do anything against a Hell player. Especially if they're, like, competent. Like, he just stole that with literally 18 HP. Unlucky. Probably just gonna try to kill me here, I assume. I think he's probably doing my blue. I'm actually gonna use my one because I want life steal. I would like to contest my blue. Go and do more. Actually, not doing my blue. That's very weird because he's in a scenario, he's in a position where doing my blue would be the best decision. Alright, well, I'll take that as a victory. I'll go here and I'll start my Toxic Blade. Um, after Toxic Blade, we go Pestilence. After Pestilence... we What do we go? I don't know. I'm thinking I go uh, Horrific Ankh, by the way. My speed buff comes soon. By mine, I mean his, obviously. Alright, well, it didn't kill him, but like it got pretty close. Nice. He went for the greed. He went for the greed play. And the greed play did not work out for him. Loses his tower, this wave, and the speed buff if I'm quick enough. Get up and dip, dude. Get me out of here. Very fast. Facing me. Okay. I'm actually surprised that he chased that hard. Because he almost died for it. I guess he he really wanted the red buff. That's the reasoning behind it, but it, it it's weird to me that he would chase like that. I have my Toxic Blade. Okay. Wow, he upgraded his thorns, actually. So we definitely do not fight into thorns. We definitely do not fight into thorns. Alright, well, we I guess we fight into Thorns if he uses it when he's 1 HP. I don't know why he waited so long to, to pop anything. That could have been a very, very intense game. But he waited way too long and was way too aggressive in the early game. If he just calmed down, waited till late game, you know, um, used his relics 
not sparingly, but like the opposite of sparingly, like, like just threw him out there, he would have won the fights for sure. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I love you all. Thank you so much for watching. If you got to this far, make sure to comment pineapple down below. I love you. Peace.